So the next thing we want to do is to um, modify the connections. We want, for example, to add a welded plate between the beams and then trim off um, part of the beam that extends the center line. But first I will just change the lines so I have uh, thin lines and this is under the view menu and then select thin lines. And now to add the welded plate, we will go to the structure menu and select component and then model in place. And make sure that you set the filter list uh, so it's set to structure. And now we will select the structural connection and click OK. And here you can either give it a name, for example, welded plate, or you can just click OK. And to create the welded plate, we want to use the extrusion tool. So we will select extrusion. And we can change the depth. Um, for this project, we have used the HIB 200 uh, beams and columns. Uh, so if we set the beams or the plate um, to 200 for the depth, um, it will match the, the beams right here. And then we will uh, select the rectangle tool and then just draw the plate. We can always uh, edit the dimensions later. Um, and let's say we want to have a thickness of uh, 20 millimeters and then the height we can always modify later. So then we will accept it. And then let's go to the 3D view just to have a look at it. And if I just rotate it, now we can see we have the plate, but the plate is um, only located halfway through uh, the connection and then the other half is located uh, outside. So we want to move it or, or place it at the, so it covers the whole connection. So we can just mark the plate and then we can use the arrows just to drag it into place. And we can see at the top right here that I get a dotted line. And this means that I'm now um, located at the edge of the connection. So I'll just let go and I will move this one um, also so it matches the outer part of the, of the beams. Just hit escape and now we can see that it's uh, it looks quite good and now we just need to modify the height of this um, of this plate and this is easier to do within the elevation so just go back to the elevation and first we want to move the plate so it's uh, it located with the grid line in the center of the plate so I'll just select the plate and then just type in 10. So now we have uh, 10 millimeters on each side of the grid line, which is right here. But to um, modify the height of it, again, we will just select the plate and use the arrows just to drag it into place. And do the same in the bottom. Like this. And at the moment, we cannot see the plate, uh, but if we go and change the visual styles in the bottom, and set it to wireframe, then it's possible to see the, the connection. So now we will just accept this one. And the next step is to uh, modify the connection or we want to trim off this uh, beam uh, that extends um, past the, the connection. So if we click on one of the beams, oh sorry, first we have to uh, draw in some um, reference plans and we will do this by going into architecture and then select the, the ref plan and we will draw a ref plan um, on both sides of the plate like this and now we will just select the first beam and use the cut geometric tool and first we will select uh, one of the beams and then we want it to uh, stop at this rift plan so we will now click on on the rift plan and we will do the same with the, the other beam select it and then click on the other rift plan just like this and if we go back to the 3d view then it looks uh, good with the connection right here so the next part is to uh, modify the the corner connection 
So we go back to the elevation. And we can actually see in this point right here that the, um, the beam is actually a bit higher compared to the column. So we can uh, move it downwards a bit if we want it or we can just keep it. Uh, but if we want to move it a bit down, we just select um, the beam and then in start level offset, we can type in, um, let's try minus 10 millimeters and then apply. So this looks quite good. And we can also do the same on the other side. Select the beam and then at start level offset, type in minus 10 millimeters and apply. And then to cut off this uh, small piece of the beam, again, we will draw some rift plans or just one um, from the edge of the, of the column and just Draw upwards, and now we will just select the, the beam and use the cut geometric tool. Click on the beam and then the rift plan, like this. And let's do it again on the other side. Like this and now we want to uh, make a connection in the corner right here so again go to the architectural menu and select component and model in place and again we will um, select the structural connections and click OK and just OK for this uh, name and again we want to make an extrusion and this time we want to have a depth of um, 10 millimeters and we will just use the line tool just to draw the connection like this let's say we want to have it 400 millimeters and we have a 45 degree angle like this and then let's accept it go to the 3d view and now we can see the connection right here and it lo looks uh, quite good um, and then we just want to make sure that we have a, a plate this is the body the same as what we have up here but then in the bottom and the top we have um, the flanks uh, so we want to draw in the flanks as well on this uh, connection right here so let's go back to the elevation and just accept this uh, or finish the model and then go back to the architectural menu component model in place and the structural connection click OK and OK to the name and we want to make an extrusion and this time we want the depth to be 200 millimeters and we can use uh, this pick line right here and we want the thickness of the plate to be uh, 10 millimeters, so we will type in the offset of 10 millimeters. And now we will just click on the, on the line right here. And hit escape twice, then select the line and just extend it so it uh, connects to the beam. Like this. And we will just use uh, the line tool just to finish the shape and make sure that the offset is now also set to uh, zero millimeters. And then we can just draw right here. Like this and accept it and go to the 3D view. And again, we have the, the plane, but we, we can also see that it actually extend um, halfway outside the connection. So we will click on the plate and then use um, the lines just to move it into place. I might want to rotate it a bit like this and select the line. Like 
this. So now we have a connection right here. And if we go back to the elevation and say finish model, then we can just uh, select the connection. And I'm just using the tab key just to make sure that I'm selecting the actual connection. And now I will use the mirror tool right here and just click on the center line. And now the connection is also placed on the other side. So if we go to the 3D view, we can now see that we have a perfect connection here as well. So this is the principle of how to make um, a 3D steel frame structure, uh, which you can use for your semester project.